Hey guys, Brent here with you today to give you another in-home workout. And today we're gonna to be a little more creative. All right, so we're gonna kind of use some items that we have around in the household, and we're looking for one simple item, and that is gonna be a milk jug or a water jug, preferably a one gallon size that has kind of a handle grip to it. That is our objective, is that what we're looking for, okay? Now these are gonna be kind of take over as dumbbells for us today, all right? Now here I kind of showed you little marks on here to kind of, if you have a full gallon jug, I kind of show you the kind of the weights here. It kind of starts out with about eight pounds if you fill it up to about the top, five pounds if you kind of fill it up to about halfway just below the handle mark, and three pounds if you feel about just halfway along that kind of sticker line. If you're wanting to adjust weights during our routine today, all right? But we're gonna be using two milk jugs filled them with water, or keep them full of milk, whatever you prefer to choose. Um, I prefer, prefer water, that way it's less messy in case you might spill something out while you work now. All right, so let's get to our workout, guys. <clears throat> All right, today's workout, we're gonna be doing four circuits today, All right? In each circuit, there's gonna be three main lifts. Right, we're gonna do an upper body lift, we're gonna do a lower half, lower leg lift, and then we're gonna do a compound movement lift where we're using both legs and our upper body, our whole body, in that last exercise, all right? At the very end, we're gonna to top it off with 30 seconds of kind of a cardio burst, and today, we're gonna to be using the mountain climber, all right? And when we get there, I'll show you what we'll be doing. So we'll kick it off, circuit number one. We're gonna grab those milk jugs, all right? Find those milk jugs, and we're gonna start off with shoulder presses, okay? In our circuits, each exercise, let's knock out 15 reps of each exercise in the first circuit, all right? Shoulder presses to kick it off. Let it begin, guys, at those shoulders staying tall, and let's press it out. Yeah, there we go. Feel those eight pounders. Got my milk jugs full, so they're about eight and a half pounds. Okay, feel those weights. Good, good. Since they're kind of a little light for me, I'm doing a little high repetition, so that's why I chose 15 reps today. But kind of adding that lower body, that compound movement's gonna make it a little more challenging. Two, one. Okay, exercise number two is called the front squat. We're gonna hold them right at the front of our shoulders, okay? Put them together, make it a little easier, keep them spaced, make it a little tougher. We're gonna work down to that squat. Bring it down, keep that butt low, okay? Right, those shoulders, hands underneath those elbows. Up, down, chest up. Good. Good. Keep those going. Out of way, guys. There we go. Good. Four more. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to top it off with the squat to shoulder press. Going down, head above the head. Down and up. Okay, you're gonna keep these three exercises continuous. One right after the next. Good job, guys. Keep working. Good. You start getting a little tired? You wanna look, lighten the load a little bit? Take a little drink out of those milk jugs, especially if you've got them filled with water. Three more. One, two, and three. Good. All right. Now we're going to lead into the cardio burst here, the mountain climber. Ideally, we're going to start on the ground. We're in that plank position, hands underneath the shoulders, on our toes, bringing one knee in towards our chest, and then switch it, okay? Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, okay? You put one foot on the ground where you have the foot up in front like you're doing a sprinter stance. You can switch, 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 okay? That's still too tough, all right? Use the couch or chair you ride. All right, this is gonna be my couch. We're gonna kind of do the same movement, all right? In that couch position, okay? 
30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. Good job, good job, keep it up, keep it up. That way to work, halfway there, halfway there. Stay with me, keep those hips down. Don't let your butt come up, hips down. Run it in place. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. Circuit one's down. Okay, ideally, I would recommend two to three rounds, depending on how many reps you're gonna do, okay? Since we're doing 15 reps, I'd probably suggest two rounds before you move on to the next circuit, okay? We are gonna move on to circuit number two. We're gonna start out with what we call upright row. Standing tall again. Milk jugs, water jugs. Down by our legs. Arms extended here. Okay? Grabbing our palms. Facing towards our body. And we're gonna be pulling our elbows up. Okay? Elbows up to about that collarbone height. And then back down. All right? Now, what's important? Keeping those elbows above your hands. Working that upper body, those shoulders, that trap. Keep working. Inside you. Elbows up. Elbows up. Just up to that collarbone, guys. Still working those 15 reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, exercise number two, we're gonna do what's called sumo squat. Okay, sumo squat, just like what you kind of, just what it sounds like. Sumo wrestler, stance wide, toes pointing out at a 45 degree, okay? So let's stand outside your shoulders. Toes 45, weight between your legs. Squat down, butt down, chest up, push those knees out. Good, good. Now if you have long arms, Pull those weights up a little bit. You can kind of work a lower depth. Focus on, you want to feel it on the inner part of those thighs. Good job, guys. Keep working. Every time you come up from that squat, squeeze those buns. Right away, guys. Keep working. Two more. Three. Two. We got one more, and perfect. And then we're gonna top it off with what we call the high pole, okay? We're gonna put these two exercises together. Out in that sumo squat stance, okay? And we're also gonna work that starting point of that upright row. We're gonna squat down, pull up, down, up, up. So you get a little squat, a little legs, to help you out with that upright row. All right, these are called high poles. 15 reps. Good job. Good. Make sure you keep that chest up. Don't let yourself bend down. Five to go. All posture at the top. Good. One more. And there we go. And your high poles, 15 reps. Now let's lead it back to those mountain climbers again, guys. 30 seconds. Okay? To the ground, to the couch. If the couch is even too hard, you want to make it a little easier. Okay? The other thing you can be doing is marching in place. Okay? Marching in place, high knees. That's option number three. Okay? Ideally, we want you on the ground. All right, let's keep it on the mountain climbers, guys. 30 seconds. Here we go. And kick it off. Run it in place. Hope everyone's been working out every day. Making good choices with their diet. Good job. Make sure you get outside as often as you can, guys. Get outside as often as you can. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. There's circuit number two, okay? Remember, two to three rounds ideally. But 
we are going to move on to circuit number three. Alright. Grab those water jugs again. Okay, this exercise, the front raise. Okay, starting with those jugs at the sides. And we're going to be bringing them forward, okay, to our shoulder height. We're going to show you from the side. Okay, starting at our hip side, up to shoulder height. Okay, now I like to rotate my palms, right? Get a little more shoulder action and get that little rotation in. You do not have to. Keep those thumbs up. Right? Sometimes people with shoulder issues, it's better just to keep those thumbs up and not rotate. Good. Good. Remember, 15 reps, guys. 15 reps. Feel those shoulders. Start to feel on fire. Good. We got three more, and we go into our lower body work. Two and three. Okay. Number two, we call the RDL, the Romanian deadlift. Okay, arms down, feet. Our stance is a little more narrow, okay? Shoulder width max, if not inside your shoulders, okay? Let's keep that stance a little more narrow, all right? Now, from the side position, we're gonna hinge at our hips. That means flexing at our waist. Push your hips back. Feel that stretch, those hamstrings, those glutes in that low back. We're coming right back up, okay? Those hands come past those knees and you're extended straight up. Push those hips back, squeeze those glutes as you come forward. Good job, guys. Good. Make sure to keep a flat back by pushing those hips back. No rounded backs, okay? Kind of hold that little arch back position as you kind of flex over. Keep that stomach strong. Two more. A lot of posterior work here. Last one. And perfect. All right. The compound movement that we are going to be doing is the swing. Okay. Now I'll show you how we'll be doing that swing. So you're going to have to kind of widen that stance a little bit. And we're going to use both jugs here. Okay. Using that same motion of that RDL, hips back, extend forward, putting that RDL and those front raises together. Okay? Put those jugs together, a little bit wider stance so they can go between the legs. Push those hips back like you do the RDL, extend those hips forward and front raise. Try to get a little pendulum swinging going on here. Good. Use that stomach to help decelerate that down face. Generate the strength with those hips by bringing that weight back forward, powering that weight in front of you. Squeeze my glutes at the top. Good job. Give me three more. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get back to that cardio burst. 30 seconds of mountain climbers, guys. 30 seconds of mountain climbers, all right? To the ground, or to the couch, or standing up doing high knees, running in place. Here we go. And 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. Good job, guys, good job. Good, good, good. Hoping most of you guys got these empty milk jugs at home, so make sure to save them. Don't throw them away. Save them because you can use them as dumbbells and weights. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Woo! It's round three, okay? Again, remember two to three rounds. Two to three rounds. Alright? Let's get into that last circuit here, guys. Last circuit. We're going to lead off with hammer curls. Starting at our sides. And we're going to keep our palms facing in at our sides. And we're going to curl it up to our shoulders. Hands come up to the shoulders. Okay? Up to our shoulders. And we're going to curl. Curl. Good. Out of way, guys. Bring it up to those shoulders. Good job. Good job. Go. 
Stay with her. Remember, 15 reps, 15 reps. Don't get that swing, no momentum. Stop it right at your sides. Curl it up. Curl it up. I'm getting bicep work here. We'll get some good forearm action too for grip strength. Job. Three, two, one more, and yeah, there we go. Okay, number two is lower body. We're gonna work the suitcase squats, okay? Kind of that shoulder width stance. Weights at your sides, jugs at your sides, and we're squatting down. Good. Keep that chest up, try to get those milk jugs, those water jugs, to touch those ankles at the sides. Good. Wait, guys. Stay with me. Stay with me. We're almost through this workout. We're almost through this workout. Come on. Job. Job. Three more. Two and three. Okay. Last exercise. That compound movement. We're gonna do what we call a power clean. Right? It's almost like a double squat. So we start off kind of with that suitcase squat first that we just got done doing. Kind of combine it with the hammer curl into a front squat. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from the side. Okay, hands on the side. We go down like we're doing that suitcase squat. As we come up, we hammer curl up to our shoulders and we front squat. And down. Okay? Here. Here. Good. So really get that grip on those handles. Sides, up to shoulders, good. Down, down. As you can see, it's almost like you're literally doing two squats here, okay? So let's keep it going. Here, we got four down. We got 11 more to go. Good. Good job. Yeah. Number seven, keep that chest up. Don't let yourself bend over, chest up. There's nine. Come on, this is the last circuit. And you gotta top it off with that cardio burst. Good job. Yeah. Give me two more. There's 14. And there's 15. Good job, guys. Okay. Get through that cardio burst, that 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Here we go, hit the ground, and let it start. Ten seconds in, keep it up. Come on, quick legs, quick legs. Last 30 seconds of the workout, quick, 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 speed, speed, speed. Ten more seconds, come on. How many can you get in before the time's done? Three, two, one. Woo! There we go. There you have it, guys. There's our little in-home workout today using the gallon milk or water jugs, preferably blue with the handle. All right? It doesn't matter if the milk jugs, water jugs. Like I said, looking for a gallon size. Kind of handle that you can kind of grasp on, hold on. Okay? Like I said, look around. You may have some spare ones at home. Fill them up with water. Make sure you have a cap. All right? You don't want that water spilling on you. All right? So don't forget, like us on Facebook, guys. That way you can kind of keep up with all the latest information. Follow us on Instagram, as well as download our Athletic Club app. All right?